G'day Libra, welcome back to TJ Terror Dead Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Libra, please. Yes, your reading is early. Because I had to do the readings earlier. <laughs> so you get to the day early. Lucky you, hey? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Something came up, so I have to do them earlier. All right, clarify card one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Clarify card one, please. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card two, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So keep that in mind. Come on, speak. Yeah, you may not be the only one thinking about Libra right now. So just keep that in mind. Clarify card three, please. Thank you. Let's keep going. Three more for the love energy coming towards Libra, please. Okay, I got them. That was quick, I like that. <clears throat> All the decks are pre shuffled and I'll list them below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested. Clarify card one in row two, please. That's better. Clarify card two in row two, please. Okay. It's a lot. Wow, that's a lot, lot. Okay, clarify card three in row two, please. Thank you. Yeah, that one wants to fall too. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Libra. So someone sees you definitely as their soulmate. And we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is interesting because a lot of times the Six of Pentacles is the scales, which is Libra. Balance, give and take. Oh, yeah. They feel a balanced connection with you, Libra. Definitely see you as a soulmate. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Or someone who sees you as a soulmate wants to balance things out with you. Well, because we've got the Nine of Wands. Ooh. And the Ace of Pentacles. That's good. So they're not giving up on a stable beginning here. Not giving up and there being a stable beginning here, working on the partnership, giving this relationship a chance. Yeah, I just keep getting not giving up because nine of wands, you're almost at the end, so you don't give up. It's not giving up on a stable new beginning between you two. Okay, or a stable beginning. You deserve love. You are lovable. Ooh, someone's shooting their arrow. Love arrow at you, uh, Libra. Ooh, and the High Priestess. You deserve love. You are lovable. But they're keeping that to themselves. Keeping that quiet. Intuitively, they know you deserve love. You are lovable. No more. A lot of people are. Okay, I think they're keeping quiet about it. Hmm. Okay, the higher self. Uh, you deserve love. You are lovable. The love you deserve. Why don't you give you the love you deserve? 
Okay. Ooh, confusion. Someone else got this card here. Can't remember who it was now. Confusion. So there's some sort of confusion here. Ooh, the Ace of Swords. And they want to get to the truth of the matter. They want to speak their truth to cut through this confusion. I've got lots of clouds here. And the sword is clear at the top here. Yeah, they want to cut through all the confusion with some sort of truth or words, communication. Cutting through the confusion. All right, let's see what this one was all about. Oh, an abundance. Well, there's an abundance of cards. <laughs> all right, abundance. Let's see what we've got here. The magician. A new beginning, all four elements, all four aces in one, manifesting a new beginning. Oh, the hermit. Okay. So an abundance of all four elements here for a new beginning. We've got the hermit. I've got the eight of swords. Got the six of pentacles again. No, stop, they said. Okay. So they've done an abundance of self work here. Self reflection, because they're feeling trapped. All they can think about is how they need to balance things out with you. So they're doing a lot of self work here to get themselves balanced and unstuck okay five of cups the disappointment of the knight of pentacles of not moving forward with stable action and offering a stable beginning with the ace of pentacles yeah they're feeling an abundance of regret here because they didn't move forward <laughs> that horse isn't moving and offer a stable offer stability towards you Okay, there's a lot of messages in here. The Six of Swords. The Queen of Cups. Wow. The King of Wands. Okay. And the Seven of Cups. Yep, stop there. So they want to move things to calmer waters. Have this beautiful best love in the deck. Whole Queen's loving. She's the Queen of Love. Best humanly possible amount of love that can be given they want to move to calmer waters and give you this beautiful love show that they're more mature in their actions now seven of cups confusion illusion and options i'm hearing that they are a Ah, taking control of their actions and passions in all this confusion to clear the confusion I'm also hearing that they're a better option that they now are a, a viable option because they've done this abundance of work hmm. and we've got the ace of wands the devil card Ooh. the eight of pentacles and the judgment card wow so yeah a passionate beginning <clears throat> well the passionate action and the toxicity of a lustful connection is something they've been working on. Work through that if they can just have a second chance. So now making the right judgment call. Working on their negative side, their shadow side for a passionate new beginning. Ooh, so they've been doing a lot. An abundance of self-reflection. An abundance of work working on themselves to bring you the best version of them. 
Okay, they've been doing a lot of self-work then. Because of what they want to manifest. Mysticism. Ooh, which is pretty much the high priestess here. Alright. Nine of Swords, ooh, and the Ten of Swords, ooh, the mystery, the keeper, keeping of secrets, the secret they've been keeping is that this has been a nightmare, this painful ending, ah, uh, nine and ten of Swords, wow, They can't sleep at night. Everything's just a nightmare because of this painful ending. And that's why I think they've got doing an abundance of work on themselves. Wow, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Manifesting all new beginnings. Doing that self-work and self-reflection here on their own. To, there's eight. Eight, nine and ten. To cut themselves free of this mental prison that they've been in. And get themselves balanced again. The disappointment and sadness that they've caused. By not taking that stable action before and offering something stable to you. And to move this to calmer waters. To give you this beautiful love. And show that they're now responsible for their actions. To clear up this confusion and make a better offer, be the better offer here for a passionate new beginning. The toxicity of the past is something that they've been working on, hoping that you will give, well, with, because using better judgment, but hoping you will give them another chance. Because what they've been hiding from you is the fact that they are, it's a nightmare, this painful ending. Wow, wow, okay, let's see what's at the bottom here, yeah, I can't do this anymore, they can't handle this anymore, wow, yeah, they just want to balance things out with you, they haven't given up on this being a new beginning, they can't do it anymore, they can't stand this anymore, they want to speak the truth through the confusion, show how much work they've done, well, doing a lot of work, a lot of self-work. But they're hiding a lot of pain here, a lot of pain and mental anguish. Okay, what would this love energy like to say to Libra, please? <laughs> okay. Nope. Yeah, that one was last, that one, that one, and then that one, okay. So we've got, that was last, why don't, oh, I've done these the wrong way around, hang on. Right, okay. <laughs> Can we talk? That was the first one out, yes. And definitely they want to talk. They definitely want to talk to you. And clear up all that confusion. I'm hearing confession, I'm hearing um, apologies, I'm hearing telling you about all this self-work that they've done, trying to impress you with their new, better judgment of themselves and you. Mm, okay. I'm in a codependent situation right now, yeah. Well, I think they're becoming, yeah, I think they've been codependent and they're becoming more independent with this abundance of self-work here. But really, it is sort of boiling down to, it that, you know, whether we get, whether you use to get to talk or not all depends on you. It's dependent on you. This situation is dependent on you and your response. I will contact you soon. So they're going to reach out for this conversation. And I know I messed up everything. Yeah. Well, look at all the abundance of work they're doing here. Wow. 
Okay, so yeah, they're doing some doing a lot of self work here, self reflection, dealing with their shadow side, working on their stability, and becoming more mature and loving. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, they definitely want to talk. Going through a lot of pain, Libra. Mm. Alright, well that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment, that would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, all the best. Take care. Good luck, Libra. Catch you later.